And the next day after Icy Straight Point, we visited Skagway, Alaska. What did we do in Skagway? Skagway, we, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Richie and Vanessa Travel. I'm Vanessa. I'm Richie. And this is Richie and Vanessa Travel. Today we are continuing on with our Alaska series. And today we're going to tell you about two stops that we made on our cruise. The first one is going to be Icy Straight Point and the second one is going to be Skagway. So we will begin with Icy Straight Point. Come on. <laughs> hey, where are you? Alaska. <laughs> where? Icy Straight Point. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and Icy Straight Point is actually a very kind of quick stop, yeah, was, I would it say. Yeah, really fast. It's it's quick in and out. It's absolutely beautiful and stunning, but there's not much to do there. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of uh, background on what Icy Straight Point is. Um, Icy Straight Point is a privately owned tourist destination just outside the small village of Huna, Alaska. It is located on Chicagoff Island and is named after the nearby Icy Strait. It is owned by Huna Totem Corporation. It is the only privately owned cruise destination in Alaska. Huna Totem Corporation is owned by approximately 1,350 Alaska natives with Aboriginal ties to Huna and the Glacier Bay area. Many of them are Tlingit people. And if I said that wrong, I apologize. Um, we'll put the name down here below so you guys know how that is spelled. Um, but yeah, it is privately owned and I believe only the cruise ships stop there, so if you're not on a cruise vacation, no, you, can't get there you won't be able to visit it. But it is a very small town. There are three things that you can do there. You can eat, you can shop, and you can explore the Tongass Rainforest. Yeah, it's just like a quick pit stop area. Nothing really uh, too crazy there. Lots of beauty though. Yeah. We, um, we actually did all three things. We ate at one of the restaurants. What did we eat? Got the king crab, mm -hmm. the Alaskan king crab. Yes, and it was very good. Really good. You could tell that they caught it right there off, off the dock, for yeah. sure. We also had uh, mini donuts and some hot chocolate because it was cold. Oh, the mini donuts. I remember the mini <laughs> yeah. donuts. Yeah, the mini donuts were really good. Um, we did some shopping. Uh, like, there's, there's a really long strip. It's all one building, but there's like different little areas where you can shop. And so we did do some shopping there and we walked around and explored some of the rainforest which was absolutely beautiful mm -hmm. we also um looked for seashells on the shore when we took yeah i'm not supposed to take any back but we did anyway sorry we only took a few <laughs> but that was it for icy street point um we've seen our first eagle there too oh that's true actually i think we saw two of them yeah, weren't they yeah, there, there were two, two on the tree so that's where we saw our first yeah bald eagles and it was quite quite the spectacle it was really These nice are huge. Mm -hmm. oh another fun fact about icy street point is there's actually more bears there oh, than there people. are people mm -hmm. after visiting icy street point we made our next stop at skagway alaska and what did we do in skagway we took a quick 20 minute bus ride to a town called Lyersville. Lyersville was a place where people would set up camp during the gold rush times. And it is an old, tiny, like little settlement. They still have it set up the way that it was back in the days. Yeah. They have like the old signs there and all the old rules that were in place back in the day. Yeah, and what we did there was a salmon bake, and it oh my is gosh. <laughs> the absolute best salmon yes. that either of us has ever had. Like, by far, the and best it was salmon. All because of the glaze that they, they put on that some... salmon. It was absolutely amazing. And we tried to get some. Well, I was gonna try to get some because I found some in the gift shop. 
And then I thought the bus was about to leave me because our driver was saying, it's time to go, it's time to go. I was standing go. in front of the bus, <laughs> not letting it leave. <laughs> but since I thought the bus was leaving me, I didn't grab it. I just ended up going back to the bus. And ever since then, we can't forget about that glaze. I was... searched for it online, trying to find the recipe for it or trying to be able to buy it. Nowhere to be found. It was so good. We will never forget you. Nope. Nope. After the salmon bake and spending some time in that little town, um, we spent, what, about an hour and a half yeah, there? Least. Yeah, about an hour and a half eating, exploring the little town. And then after that, we made our way back into beautiful Canada so that we could visit the Yukon Suspension Bridge. Now, the drive from Liarsville to the Yukon Suspension Bridge in Canada was a lot longer. It was yeah, about- Two hours, I think. It was around a two hour drive. And you do have to stop in the Canadian authorities to check yeah. your passport and all that good stuff. Um, they're super nice, of course. Yeah, Canada. And this, the route is just absolutely scenic. It was yeah. actually when we caught our first uh, glance of a glacier. Yep. So we were driving and the driver said, if you look over to your right, So that was really exciting. Um, and we made several stops along the way to take photos. Um, there's lots of lakes, lots of rivers that flow through. Um, it was the first time that we got to see that like milky yeah, colored the, water. The glacier runoff water. Mm -hmm. Never seen it before. Yeah, and it was an absolutely yeah, beautiful color, drive. You can't even like pinpoint what color that is. Yeah, it was stunning. And waterfalls everywhere. Yeah, there are waterfalls all over the side of the mountain. And then when we got to where the Yukon Suspension Bridge is, we just explored the Yukon Suspension Bridge. There's a beautiful cabin there that's a restaurant, but it was actually not in service the day that we went. We got to go inside and see it. Took some cool photos of the bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But we didn't actually get to eat there. They, yeah, it was closed. It was closed. But it's just a another area with lots of nature. There's only one suspension bridge there, but there are several lookout points that you can walk yeah. around. Um, that day was pretty cold. It was cold. I was shivering. It was a little chilly for me. Yeah, even though he was just wearing a t-shirt. Just wearing a t-shirt. People were looking at me kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> And then after exploring the Yukon Suspension Bridge area, we headed back into Skagway, and then we explored the town of Skagway, which is really small. It's only a few blocks. Um, but the one thing that popped out was just how <laughs> many jewelry stores there are. It was an insane amount. It It'd was be like, like a regular store, jewelry, jewelry store. store. Regular store, jewelry store. Jewelry store. Regular store, jewelry store. Jewelry store, jewelry store. I'm like, what, are we walking in circles or something? <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, but um, you know, the town of Skagway isn't very big. Um, it's mostly shops. I think most of their money probably comes from tourism. Yeah. Um, there wasn't much else that we saw, uh, but still beautiful. Uh, still very, very like old time. Yeah. It, it kind of felt like being back in time during the gold rush. Mm. It, it was kind of cool, but that was it. Those that were two it, pretty, yeah. pretty quick stops. Um, they were all beautiful, but um, the next stop that you guys will be seeing is going to be Glacier Bay. That one was amazing. Too. It was amazing, and we actually didn't get off the boat. But... And then the one after that was our glacier trek. Yeah, so lots of good videos from Alaska still coming up. We do want to take a moment. Um, it is the end of the year. Both of us have been very busy with work. So we're not sure if this will be our last video for the year or if there's still another one coming out before Christmas. But we do want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel, to really, everyone really appreciate it. who leaves comments, who shares us with friends and family, who encourages us to keep going. So we just want to take a moment to say thank you. We do still have a goal of reaching a thousand subscribers. Not sure that we will get to it by the end no. of 2020. We are 15 <laughs> days away from the end and we still got a ways to go. But whatever you guys can do to help us reach that goal, whether it be in 2020 or 2021, it doesn't matter. Um, please do so. 
and like we said we do appreciate everything that you guys do for us already we also want to wish you and your family a very very merry christmas it's been an incredibly difficult year for everyone including us we've you know we've had a uh, some stuff yeah this go year's on. been pretty tough it's been a rough year but through it all we had each other and we had you guys and we hope you guys know that you guys have us as well we wish you nothing but the best for a very merry christmas and a happy, healthy, and abundant 2021. So if we don't see you again, that is our wish for you. If we see you again, you're gonna hear that all over again in the next video. <laughs> for sure. Bye guys. Bye.